Um, hey guys, and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on After Effects. Yay, finally, I've got my Windows 7. Anyway, this is going to be cloning and, like, picking up a cup and sharing it. <coughs> First, I'm just going to select where I want it to start. Mine's about there. So I'm just going to cut it down, and I'm just going to bring it back. There we go. That's where it starts. Um, and then drag it over and where your first person ends. I recommend recording this on a tripod and don't stop the camera. Just move around to the other side. Anyway, here it stopped and hit control D. So it duplicates and so bring it over until your other one starts about there. And then sort of trim the top one down to there. And the other one where that ends, trim that one down to there as well. And see this little thing? You can zoom in to the frame so it makes it so much more accurate. Um, yeah. Then you want to do that. And just bring it, no, bring it back to the start. About the here. And this isn't me doing this now because I know what's going to happen. What happens is, is I think that I want to align it up properly. So I sort of trim a bit of the front, which I really shouldn't have done. I should have trimmed just the back like that and made it perfectly in line, but I didn't. I wanted me to put down the drink fully and then and then like look at the camera. But I found out that then it made me pick up the drink with the other person. You'll see. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit T for opacity and bring it down to 50%. So now you can see both of them perfect timing. At the same time, and see here, when I put it down, it's exactly the same time as when I pick it back up, and I didn't like it, so I just decided to trim that back down, or trim that back up, so now it's better, and I zoom in here, and just align that, okay, so now when I put it down, it gives me time to pick it back up, and it looks more realistic, yeah, now as soon as you got it ready, go up to 100% again, not 10%, 100%, yeah, there we go. Um, now you want to blah, blah, grab the pen tool, which is aligned up there, and just bring it back to the first frame or two, and just drag it all the way down and around like that. Um, yeah, so now what you want to do is you just want to line it up until you're going to pick up the drink, and yeah, so then what you want to do is you just want to basically edit it. I mean, it's quite hard to say, but select the mask path. And just bring it over. By the way, this this dude inspired me. He's called Effects Dude Seventy Nine. Check him out. Um, he's quite good at this. Yeah, Effects Dude Seventy Nine. Check him out. Uh, he was only told me how to do this, and I'm doing it a different way. Anyway, drag it in. So now there's no parts of like the arm into the second um, half of the video, basically. So you want your your half of the person not to see not. Your hand can get cut. It's got to be normal so it looks as realistic as possible. So yeah, j just do what I'm doing and just drag it all the way over and stuff. Um, and as you see, it looks as pretty realistic in my opinion so far. Oh, yeah, and what happened was there is I just sort of made the video a bit longer than it should have been. So I zoom in on here. It's a real good technique to use and I'm going to be using it more often. And keep reminding you because this helps a lot. Anyway, yeah, so if I watch the video so far... Um, when you're editing, you see this little thing, if you might not, but anyway, it's just above the timeline, it's called, it's like, it says half. Um, if you want, if you want to edit, you can bring it down to, like, you can bring it up to full, or bring it down. Anyway, yeah, as you see, my right side here is really dark, so feather it to about 50. Um, there you go, it's improved a loads, but it still hasn't improved as much as I wanted it to, so hit effect. Color correction, levels, and bring it up a good lot. Because if you bring it to the left, it lightens it. Bring it to the right, it darkens it. So, light, I recommend you to lighten it. Well, it depends, because you're always going to be doing the right side or the left side or whatever. Make it so they match. And see there, when I change that to full, when it's auto full, um, I forgot what it was, half. Anyway, that. Um, it depends how fast, and how if it's bad quality, the worst, it loads so much faster, and if it's a full quality like mine, it loads slower. Anyway, so here's the end result. You did this in around about four and a half minutes to five minutes. This is one of the best tutorials I've made. I'm going to be making a new tutorial on the muzzle flash. It's five times better in my opinion. 
yeah, it's really much better, and I'm going to be giving this tutorial on it pretty soon. So, alright, um, hope that helped. So, um, yeah, basically, bye. The reason I didn't do any Adobe After Effects tutorials is because I had to get a new computer, and it's Windows 7. It's the same computer, but I had to delete everything on it. Alright, see ya. That's basically why. My next tutorial is Muzzle Flash, number two.